Are you a small business owner who is currently experiencing money problems? Are you struggling with a lack of cash in your business despite having good sales? Are you searching for solutions to improve your business's cash flow situation? If so, you're in the right place because in this video entitled Why You Need to Watch Your Cash Flow, you'll learn to understand the importance of cash flow and avoid negative cash flow in your business. And when starting a business, many often think that it's only about selling products and then paying expenses and the remaining will be the profit. But you see, that's not how business works. For you to understand better, let's talk about Amara's experience. Amara is a 30-year-old widow from Cebu. And after her husband died of cardiac arrest a few years ago, she decided to return to her hometown with her three children to live with her parents. In that same year, Amara started her frozen goods business. And because one of her friends was a direct supplier, she was able to buy the products at a lower price and then sell them at a really good price. And well, Amara thought that her business was doing well. She was selling a lot of her products, but she was wondering why she was always short of cash to pay her supplier. Now, there were times when she had to use her personal savings to restock her products and pay for emergency expenses. But Amara actually didn't record her transactions diligently. She was busy with the other things in her business that she didn't have time to track her expenses carefully. She only relied on the receipts she got from her frozen goods supplier and she didn't bother to keep the receipts from the other expenses. For instance, when she had to hire a repairman to fix her equipment, she didn't bother to ask for a receipt. She already knew there was a problem but she kept brushing it off. And not too soon, she was losing more money. Now, a nagging voice told Amara that she had to do something about her situation. But she wasn't sure what to do. And she had no business background or accounting experience. So she tried calculating everything with the receipts that she had. And unfortunately, the business cash she had on hand didn't match her computation. And so, after gathering enough courage, she reached out to me through one of her friends who happened to be also my mentee. Hi, Mommy Ann. Can you help me with my business? That was the text message I got. I'd be happy to help, Amara. Please tell me more about your problem, I replied. And then she shared her experience with me when we went on a Zoom call. When I heard all about it, I immediately knew why Amara was having difficulties. You see, as business owners, whether we're new or not, it's our responsibility to record all our business transactions. We cannot choose which to record and what not to. Every single detail has to be taken into account. You see, there's this factor that can cause problems in a business and we call that cash flow. Now, you might be asking, what is cash flow, Mami N? Cash flow, in simple terms, is the movement of money in and out of your business. And the money that comes into the business through sales or other means is called inflow. And the money that goes out of the business for expenses, purchases, or loan payments, whatever, is called outflow. Now, is this important for your business? Of course. Aside from keeping a record of all your business transactions, understanding this will help you balance your cash flow because cash flow can be positive or negative. What we want is to have always a positive cash flow. That means that more money comes into the business than what goes out from the business. Now, a negative cash flow means that more money is moving out of the business than what's going in. And this was Amara's problem. Yes, her business was selling well, but at the same time, she had more money going out from her business. And this resulted in her losing the money. Now, if you're in the same boat as Amara, here are three tips to avoid negative cash flow. Number one, do a cash flow forecast. Make projections. Cash flow forecasting is like planning for the future finances of your business. Think of it as a map. It helps you predict how much money your business will have and when you might need more. Now, this way you can make sure that you have enough money to keep the business running smoothly. Now, let's go to number two. Budget at your business's best. Budgeting helps you plan how you will spend your business money. This includes making sure you have enough money to pay for your financial obligations and avoid the extra charges. Budgeting also helps you cut down expenses that are not helping your business. And lastly, for this video, number three, set aside emergency money for your business. Don't go buying stuff, equipment, or stocks that you might not really need yet because just because your business is doing well. You can do that when you have the budget as mentioned in number two. So save up. This will help you pay for unexpected expenses that would arise. And creating an emergency fund will enable you not to get tempted to dig out your personal money. So going back to Amara's problem, it's not only about the sales that she has to look into. 
As a business owner, she has to watch out for negative cash flow as it will lead to financial difficulties. That's why to grow her business faster, she needs to learn how to manage cash flow really, really well. Now, I'm sure you're curious about how Amara is doing now. Well, she immediately applied the lessons she learned. She disciplined herself to record all her business transactions. And, and it was hard at first, but by doing it every day for a month, things became very easy for her. Now, this simple habit taught her to be more mindful of her business money, which is the cash flow. And whenever there are unexpected expenses in her business, she doesn't have to dip into her own wallet anymore. This is Mommy and your Mommy Negosyo saying, Be business-minded, Pinoy! Yeah.